question, the idea that the medical model kind of, it's like the, the, the camel's nose underneath the tent, except it's the medical camel and it's our health tent. The medical model always wants to usurp power. That's how it gains power, by sucking ours. And this is a process called medicalization. You can actually Wikipedia medicalization. It's a, it's a, a well-known phenomena. It's the idea, the tendency of representatives of the medical model to take our power away from us. It's especially true in psychology and psychiatry. But it's true in all levels of medicine. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking about liver health and arginine. We'll also talk a little bit about hepatitis. Seems to be a lot of folks confused about hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F. All these hepatitis, the the hepatitis alphabet, I call it. And really, it's just much ado about nothing in the sense that hepatitis is a liver problem. It's an inflamed liver, secondary to viral infection, but really, it's an inflamed liver that doesn't need a doctor. In fact, there's nothing a doctor can do for hepatitis. They can give you maybe some interferon, which will cost you $1,000 a dose and isn't even going to do anything except maybe, maybe mitigate some of your symptoms. It's expensive. It's got side effects. There's nothing they can really do for hepatitis. They'll give you a liver transplant. If it gets bad enough, but there's really nothing you could, a doctor can do, but there's lots we can do. We'll continue talking about that tomorrow on the break side. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to Maryland. Welcome, Chris, to the bright side. Good morning, Chris. What's up, bro? Hi, Chris. Hi, uh, Ben. Um, my, my friend's mother has abdominal adhesions. Okay. Did she have surgery? Or did they just yes. have, she had surgery, an abdominal surgery, right? Yes. Okay. So abdominal adhesions are just uh, uh, fibers that form in the in the abdomen between organs. They're like bands of, of fiber tissue that happens between the, the stomach and the pancreas, or the stomach and the gallbladder, the pancreas and the gallbladder. It's between the various structures inside the digestive system. Whenever you think of fibers, you want to think of cells going rogue. We talked uh, last week and a little bit yesterday about fibroids. Fibroids are a kind of fibrous tissue. Uh, that, that can form in, a fibroid is a cell basically that forms fibers in the uterus. You can have them in various parts of the body. Uh, uh, abdominal adhesions are a type of fibrous material that forms in, in the abdomen and it's always secondary to cells that are whacked out, just like everything else. Now, if you have surgery, and that is the most common cause of abdominal adhesions, that's a mechanical reason why cells can become disrupted. But there's other things that can do it. Infections can do it. Um, Other diseases can cause abdominal adhesions. Any kind of inflammation can do it. So really you want to think of cells that that are growing out of control and secreting proteins out of control. That's basically it. And that really is a lot of the degenerative disease, a lot of the the, uh, causes of degenerative disease, cells that are not behaving themselves, cells that are growing incorrectly, cells that are producing uh, proteins incorrectly, cells that are stressed out, cells that are burdened. So what do you do? Well, you do the same thing we always do. By the way, when cells are growing out of control or secreting proteins out of control, the two hormones you want to think of are estrogen and insulin. And estrogen and insulin... And I'm just telling you that because it's interesting, because really you don't need to know that it's estrogen and insulin. Estrogen and insulin involve uh, uh, dysfunctions involve food and sugar. So for abdominal adhesions, think food, think sugar. And once food and sugar are out of control, you also have the element of, of stress and cortisol. That's called the triangle of disease. So for abdominal, abdominal adhesions, number one, focus on digestive symptoms, correct digestive symptomology using the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Beyond Organic products, the Swero V, and the uh, Amasai, using digestive support like uh, digestive enzymes and lecithin and pancreatin. Get your, uh, get your mom's friend to be on the ultimate enzymes. Those can help with inflammation. If you take them on an empty stomach, they'll also help her digest her food. She should be using apple cider vinegar after all her meals. And most importantly, most importantly, more important than anything else, she needs to link She's find digestive symptoms and link them up to foods, constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, um, a cramping, bloating, heartburn, discomfort of any kind. She should look for those, seek those out, not make them up, but find them if they're there, and there usually are, and then link them up to foods and then eliminate those foods. That's in addition to all those supplements I just told you about, the Biluminately Essence, the Ultimate Enzymes, uh, the Swear of V, and all the, all the nutritional support. By the way, aloe vera and the Z-Radical are also great for, the nutrition, for nutritional support. Support. Love that Z radical. Thank you, Ray and Yolanda and, and Victoria and Iggy for, for bringing that to uh, Longevity's attention. Awesome, awesome product, the Z radical. So she should be on all those. That's digestive support, and that's point one of the triangle of disease. The second point is the blood sugar system. And again, when cells grow, run amok, when cells go crazy, there's often a blood sugar connection. 
And so fibroids and adhesions, I should say, but fibroids also should be regarded as a pre-diabetic condition. This is a woman who's on the road to diabetes. So get her on the Sweeties, get her on the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack. The B vitamins are very important for helping stabilize blood sugar, of course. Quite obviously, it goes without saying, she should be staying away from bread and pasta and cereal and fruit juice and cakes and desserts and all the foods that we love so much. And the best way to wean yourself off of those is to eat more protein and eat more good fat. And then point number three is relax the body. The body will not grow correctly. The body will not repair itself correctly when it's under stress. So relaxing the body is very important. Cortisol is stress hormone. Anything you do to lower stress hormone is going to be in, your in-, in her interest. Of course, the digestive element and the blood sugar element are important. But in addition to that, deep breathing, oxygenation, making sure that she's using mental and emotional strategies, thinking good thoughts. Don't underestimate the power of and the importance of the mental and emotional strategies when it comes to these ideas. I know we talk about nutrition all the time, and I love talking about nutrition, but the mental and emotional elements are super-duper important. Thinking good thoughts, thinking kind thoughts, forgiving thoughts, loving thoughts, feeling joy, feeling rapture, feeling peace, letting go. All of these are very, very important for something as seemingly disconnected from emotional and mental strategies as adhesions, but they're not disconnected. They're all linked together. So work on the digestive system, work on the blood sugar system, Stabilize the cortisol and the stress system using uh, emotional and mental techniques as well as the first two points on the triangle of disease. That's how I would be dealing with adhesions, okay? Uh, okay. The nascent iodine would help? Nascent iodine would help, but I, 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 don't, I'm, I want you to understand this, Chris, and everybody listening. It's not like you take this for that. This is the way the doctors want us to think. Oh, you have this? I'll take that. Oh, I have a headache, okay. I'll take vitamin E. I have adhesions, I'll take iodine. I got thyroid problems, nascent iodine. It doesn't work that way. This is the way we're manipulated. This is the way people trying to sell us stuff manipulate us predatorily, and it's not fair. Now, I know I get ticked off. I really get ticked off this. Hang on, I'll fin- don't go away, Chris. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 8326. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. 
Now, I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from ProFlowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. G-C-N. Hey, we're back on the bright side. Chris in MD, Maryland. Chris, my friend. Okay, so uh, real quick, I want to get to a bunch of calls here, but I'm just going to tell you this quickly because this is a a huge idea and an important subject. You don't want to think of nascent iodine for adhesions. You don't want to think of nascent iodine for the thyroid. You don't want to think of vitamin C for your colds. You don't want to think of zinc for your acne. You want to think of iodine, nascent iodine, which is incredibly important for the health of the body. Every cell in the body needs iodine. It's not an option. It's like air. It's like water. It's like food. You need iodine, but not because you're targeting the adhesions, but because you want the body healthy. You follow what I'm saying? Don't think of it like I take this for that. That's the way the doctors want us to think. Every once in a while, you'll see these articles that come out. Oh, vitamin D doesn't work for bones. People who take vitamin D still have weak bones. Or, or people who, have, uh, uh, who take beta carotene still get cancer or vitamin E. Because when the doctors, are, when the medical model is testing these things, they test vitamin E and, and, uh, and vitamin D and iodine like they're drugs. And they take this uh, nutrient and test it against that disease. That's not how it works. Nutrients are for the body. The body handles the disease. Make sense? You follow me? So to answer your question, yes, iodine is unspeakably important, but not because it's going to heal adhesions, but because the body will heal the adhesions using the nutrients. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Thank you, you, Dr. Brown. Take care, Chris. Have a good day, man. Okay, Beth in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Hey, Beth. Cheer yes. up. Cheer up. Smile. Let me hear a smile in your voice. Like that. There <laughs> we go. Trying. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. You know, okay. laughter okay. is the best medicine, right? You've heard that. Uh, laughter is the best medicine. Yes. When we laugh, yes. we activate the parasympathetic nervous system. That's your healing system. It's your recovery and relax, uh, relaxation nervous system, your growth and repair nervous system. So even if you have to force yourself to laugh, do you know if you just turn your lips up in a smile, just the muscular movement that is causing the lips to turn up will activate growth and repair hormones and anti-aging hormones. Simply, the me- even if you're not happy, just the mechanical action of, of turning your lips up in a smile or holding your shoulders back as you walk or, or deep breathing, all of that can have wonderful benefits for mood and for, for, uh, for growth and repair and for anti-aging and for healing, etc. Okay, what's your question, Beth? Okay, my question is, I'm bipolar. Hi. I'm in a I'm in a manic phase right now. I haven't slept for. You're in a manic phase. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I hate to hear what you sound like when you're in a depressed phase. Holy cow! Beth. No, I'm just teasing. Well, it's it's coming down right now. Okay, that's what it sounds like okay. to me. Okay. So you want some help with yeah. that? Well, I want help with that. Well, I have a therapist who's a PhD who also has her doctorate in pharmacology. Nice. And she says I can treat this naturally. With pharmacology. But I have to. With yeah. natural pharmacology, natural, natural drugs. Pharmaco- yeah. Really? Okay. I don't know of any natural pharmacology, but well, it with, depends on what I suppose you herbs. Do, maybe what herbs. You're talking about. Say well, again. Not what you're talking about with uh, supplements. Okay. She's probably talking about lithium, which is which is pretty natural, I suppose. Um, no, I can't take lithium. Oh, you no, can't take lithium. Talking, no. 
What is she talking no, about? No, I've already... She's talking about uh, supplements. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. What you're talking about. Okay, here's the deal with bipolar. I'm going to tell you a couple things about bipolar. I've been working with bipolar patients since the 